Hi there. Today, we are super excited that browser-powered scanning is now on by default in Burp Suite. So, what does this mean? To answer that question, we need to unwind a few steps. Crawling a website to discover its content and functionality is a hard problem. It used to be easy. Burp Spider was first released in 2004. And this took a very simple approach. It fetched each URL in turn, parsed the response to find new links, and added them to the queue. This simple approach worked pretty well at the time, and it remained at the core of Burp's spidering feature for many years. Crawling in this way is very fast, but it doesn't deal with numerous features of modern websites. Things like application state, CSERF tokens, overloaded or volatile URLs. Burp 2 was released in 2018. This came with a brand new crawling engine with a totally different approach. Burp's crawler now navigates like a user, always working from the start URL and following links. This is slower, but it solves the main issues that Burp Spider couldn't deal with. Always walking the right path to get to content means that the application is in the right state to proceed. Burp deals with CSERF tokens that change each time a request is made. And Burp can handle URLs that are volatile and cases where the same URL does different things on different occasions. There is one significant limitation in Burp 2's crawler. It doesn't deal very well with JavaScript. And this is the limitation that is addressed by browser-powered scanning. Burp now uses an embedded Chromium browser for all navigation during both crawl and audit. This deals with JavaScript, and in principle, it can handle pretty much anything that a browser can deal with. For example, some applications have a navigational UI that is built dynamically with JavaScript and not present in the raw HTML. Burp now loads the page, executes the script, builds the UI, and can navigate on. Some applications modify requests dynamically through on-click handlers or other JavaScript events. Because Burp now navigates using a browser, these requests get modified in the normal way as needed. So Burp now deals nicely with common situations like these. Following on from the Burp 2 improvements, browser-powered scanning is a huge step forward for Burp Scanner. In many applications, browser-powered scanning will reach a lot more attack surface and find more vulnerabilities. If you're a bug bounty hunter, everyone will already have scanned your targets using Burp Scanner, but they'll have missed bugs that can't be found without browser-powered scanning. Now might be a good time to look again. So are there any downsides to browser-powered scanning? Well, using a browser does use more system resources, so you might see burp scans placing more load on your machine than before. We've taken various steps to mitigate this and to minimize the resource impact. Certainly, you shouldn't see burp overwhelming your machine. But overall, with today's applications, the only way to effectively scan them is using a browser. So the extra load is worth it. You might wonder about security issues with using an embedded browser. So did we. The browser sandbox is enabled by default. We update Chromium frequently, and there's an option to disable the browser altogether if you prefer not to use it. So what's our roadmap? for browser-powered scanning. Currently, Burp deals well with links and forms-based navigation in JavaScript-heavy applications. We're planning some more enhancements. Firstly, in future, Burp will handle other navigational elements, not just links and forms, but anything with an on-click handler that causes navigation. Secondly, in future, Burp will handle navigational events that update the DOM but don't cause a round trip to the server. 
This will give us full support for single page applications. And coming soon, recorded logins. You'll be able to guide Burp through complex login sequences to deal with situations where just configuring a username and password isn't sufficient. Aside from all of that, we have big plans for browser-powered security testing in general. In the past at Portswigger, we've often pioneered new techniques to enhance Burp Scanner and then later exposed those for manual testers. One example of that is Burp Collaborator. And we'll do this again with browser-powered testing. We plan to build manual tooling on top of the same technology and engine. This will expose the same power to manual testers in tools like Burp Repeater and Intruder. You'll be able to record any sequence using a browser by Burp Proxy. Burp will capture the actual user actions alongside the resulting HTTP traffic. When you send a request to Burp's manual tools, Burp will have access to the associated sequence of actions. It'll be able to replay that sequence using a browser and then modify the relevant request that you're interested in. So you'll be able to just send a request to repeat or intruder and work on that request in the normal way while in the background, Burp automatically deals with logins, maintaining session, CSERF tokens, stateful sequences, and other challenges. All of this without any configuration of macros or session handling rules or anything else. We would love to hear your feedback. We'd like to hear how browser-powered scanning works for you, and also any other ideas you have for using these techniques in manual testing tools. Thank you very much.